Hey guys, Dirtbag Gaming here today to bring you another Raid Shadow Legends video. What we're going to be doing today is really focusing on the 3v3 uh, tag team, um, whatever you guys want to call it. It's not the greatest name in the world. I uh, definitely wish they would have uh, changed this up a little bit instead of just going three different uh, 4v4s if they did like actual 3v3. Um, but anyway, we're going to get right into it. Uh, hit that subscribe button because a lot of videos like this are going to be coming up. Hit the like button if you like the video and let's go. So first off, we have here on the main screen uh, just a standard 3v3 matchup. Right now, I'm in gold uh, one for the 3v3. That's kind of what you want to get up to just because it has the best perks where you want to get the accessories, um, which kind of like reset the cooldown, uh, stop some, you know, buffs coming on your team. So you, the goal for the 3v3 is really get up to that um, gold status. And if you want to kind of like just chill there, you can, uh, but you're going to be getting really high weekly rewards compared to saying the bronze and the silver uh, rankings. But again, there's going to be some strats on what you should aiming for uh, and what teams you should be looking to go against. Now, my team team is pretty set up it's a lot of a uh, balancing of like who's going to go first uh tuning of the speeds thank you to the the jedi who, who posts videos on on what um speed tuning is and like how to test it i showed you guys in the video before where my arbiter and my prince karma are back to back it's perfect nobody's going to cut in that's kind of what you want to set up before joining the 3v3 but uh my goal for my 3v3 is to have two really fast teams uh set up and also kind of like a go second team, which you saw in my last video. My go second team all really relies on Cardinal not dying because of her immunity set. But if I'm looking over at this team here, my goal is to match up who I think I can win two out of three. That's the goal. If you can win two out of three of your matches, you're going to get points and you're going to move on. If you win one out of three, you have a, a chance to go back in, fine tune your team and really say, okay, I can beat this three v three matchup or I can't and kind of just skip it. But again, the goal, two out of three, you're all set. So my goal here is obviously two out of three. So if I'm looking at this setup, this is gonna be the leader. So they have a speed lead here, a speed lead here, and a, um, a resistance lead here. So if I have a really high uh, accuracy team, I can face this team, or if I have any block revives because they have the reza right there. So we're gonna start off by saying, um, this team, they don't have any block revive. So I'm gonna try and match up my uh, go second team with their fastest speed lead. That's kind of the goal. So if I'm looking at this, this is my lineup. I know that uh, she's going to go. They're going to have a uh, block uh, damage buff or unkillable. He's probably going to stun me or do a lot of damage. And he's going to just nuke because he was uh, really good now uh, with the buff. But I'm going to set this up where uh, I'm going to try and survive with my Seeker. She has immunity set, so you can't strip any buffs. Um, this guy's going to come back uh, and hopefully stun the team. Uh, and I'm going to remove the buffs with her. So with the speed tuning, um, his speed right now is pretty fast. And hers is a little bit slower. If you were to speed tune, you should go uh, strip the buffs and then nuke the team. So he's at, yeah, he's at 198. Um, so he's definitely going to be res and just do a crap ton of damage. Um, I might try and reduce the uh, turn meter, but you'll see that it's going to it's gonna do a lot of damage when he comes back. So this team, uh, I'm pretty sure my... Gorgorab, who is at, I think, a 270 speed, uh, is going to get a 30% speed boost over his, I think, 19% speed boost. So this team should go first. I'll, I'll boost it up, try and stun him, uh, debuff, and then try and nuke him down with this setup because he's a red infinity against their uh, three blue affinities. And then this team, I'm pretty sure that my Arbiter is a lot faster than uh, this whole team. So this team, I'm trying to just kill one at a time by killing the Rezzer. So I'm pretty confident going to this matchup. Let's, let's just kind of see how it goes. So like I said, this team's going to be going first. Sorry about the lag. She's an immunity set, so she doesn't get the stun. Like I said, he's going to put up the unkillable. And he nukes like a champ and puts the perfect uh, bail back up. So, uh, Seeker lived. Um, he might or may not get a chance to go, but I'm going to res these two back up. He's obviously faster, so he's going to go first. We're going to try and reduce the turn meter because he, they have a block uh, debuffs, but this is still going to hit pretty hard. So reduce all the turn meters, and then we're going to try and sleep everybody. Uh, with the seer and remove their buffs. So remove all the buffs, nuke them down, get res back up, 
Seeker then should uh, boost the turn meters of everybody. Oh fuck, <laughs> and then she dies. Boost turn meter. Try and make this guy um, provoked. Heal back up. Seer. So Cardinal's just so tanky, she might be able to get two turns uh, of the resing if they keep focusing on my other guys. Okay, or they just all die. So, bad example. Um, should have been speed tuned so that she removes all the buffs and then nuke it down. So I'll show you next, next matchup with that. This matchup, like I said, the goal is to be faster than them, so I was. So let's boost up the speed. Let's get rid of the buffs. And sleep. He's got the mastery that if they're under a sleep debuff, he gets 12% additional damage. So if you have a, a thing like this where they have any debuffs, definitely go with that masteries to help with the nuking. And then we'll try and one-shot the team. Boom! 78,000 damage. Um, I love that guy. Definitely did a video uh, spotlight on him. Check that out. And last team, again, I, I think my Arbit is fastest. Uh, it's a high resist team. So let's boost up the speed. Let's try and uh, get rid of the buffs. So my accuracy is higher, so that's good. Uh, put on some... some debuffs. Now he's got he's a bad affinity to the reds and I found out that this move right here does more damage than this on the reds so I'm gonna try and yeah so my uh, accuracy wasn't good enough on the high resist team so I'm not gonna be able to one shot um, these two with that so we're gonna try and kill the reser since nobody's dead yet and let's say I don't kill her she's not gonna do anything crazy uh, unless it's a provoke so she's probably gonna provoke now up oh. Got a proc with my uh, with my relentless, so she dies. And again, they're they're all sleeping still, so that's why a slower team with uh, Prince Kaimar definitely works. But we're gonna boost back up. We're going to reset the uh, skills and boost back up. Draco is going to try and apply more buffs. Let's see if it actually hits this time. Oh, okay. So the defense down hit. I'm gonna try and one shot. Um, Madam doesn't get the one shot, no debuffs. So now we're just going to kind of live off of their uh, damage. So let's try and boost the speed. If I boost the speed, I'm going to go faster than uh, his turn meter right now. He's just so slow, but he's so tanky. So do some damage. Do some damage. He's the main damage deal dealer right now, so I definitely want to try and go after him. Boost it back up again. So my two speed boosts definitely two rounded the the Roz in which I knew was going to happen. But also, <laughs> or fear. <laughs> oh, fear is so good. Okay, so good. Go back around. I'm going to live through this. He's not. He's in this team because he's my second Draco. He's not a sixty. Um, but I have him here just for the, the, the debuff, so I just really put a lot of accuracy on him, not a lot of health. But we'll try and strip some buffs. Probably not because she doesn't have a, lot, have a lot of accuracy. And really just whittle this team down with the poisons and the basic attacks on Rosin. So as you can see, that spell boosts up my health. Gives me a shield if I kill him, but it does more damage than, than the other one because I'm a weak affinity. If you're going against a strong affinity, definitely use the third one. But if you have a weak affinity, use the, the second skill to try to steal some health from them. I'll just put this on auto. So that's the winning of two or three matches. So looking at the points, I think I won 10 points that, that round, but it's still a win. It's going to help you grow. It's going to help you do your dailies by doing the five uh, arena and stay in the class that, you, that you're trying to stay in. So every single week when you're uh, looking at if I'm going to go back uh, a rank or go up a rank, if you're at the gold one, you want to stay in between that, that um, bar. 
So you don't want to go up, you don't want to go down, you kind of want to stay in between. So if you do your five dailies every single day for the, the extra daily quest, yeah, see at 110, um, you're good. So this is the bar I was talking about. If you're staying in here, you're good. Uh, if you're in here, by the end of the week, it's pretty easy to get up to here and kind of just coast through there. Getting up to here, you're going to move up to, to rank two. But again, if you're up to rank two, you're going to face harder teams and it's really just going to uh, aggravate you and you're not going to want to do the 3v3. So... Let's get up to the next match. So this match, uh, I'm going to kind of play around with this because he's just so fast. But these two are, are pretty set as my uh, confident teams. I'm going to go after the other teams. Okay, so if you ever see this, obviously they're just kind of trying to stay in that uh, that match in the in the uh, middle, like I was talking about. So you, if you see this team and, and you want to kind of just get an auto 30 points, you can. Um, I'm going to skip this for now because we're not here for that video. So now looking at these teams, I'm trying to stay away from the Tormans, uh, especially if they have a speed lead. This is not a speed lead, so I might be able to face that. Um, I'm looking at this team. That's probably going to be my uh, Cardinal matchup, and then this is going to be my main matchup. So I'll show you this. It's going to be uh, Cardinal, main team, and then my secondary team as long as I don't have a speed boost for this. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. I love that the gold four uh, background changed. It, it just looks so much cooler than uh, than the silver. It's got the undead vibe. Almost what looks like the um, the last Star Wars movie with all the the, the dudes in the in the choir. <laughs> it's probably the coolest part of the movie. All right, so all all the stuff's going out. Um, she had a counter attack. She had a provoke. She's pretty fast. I'm trying to build her to be my second uh, with the Arbiter once I get um, a Skull Crown. If I ever get a Skull Crown, uh, she'll be the uh, Blender team. So she removed the uh, the immunity set. So I'm going to try and live through this by healing. We're going to try and heal this girl. So they didn't really have a crazy nuker. He's probably the nuker. So let's see if he can kill somebody. And no, he doesn't. So like I said, you have to play around with this team and figure out which one is going to work for you. This team is just way too tanky for not a, a blender team. If you see a blender team, I'm definitely going to put a Seeker uh, as lead just for the defense. But if you see a team like this, they're probably not going to nuke as hard. So you can get rid of a Seeker and add another uh, nuker. You can add another um, attack up, champ, uh, speed lead, whatever you want to add for uh, instead of a Seeker. So Seeker can, can come in and out. It definitely helps with a Seeker with Seer just to add some more buffs on. But if you're not dying like you want, it, it, it's kind of you're just playing around with it. So let's bring this back up. Their buffs are off uh, for the immunity, so I'm going to try and stun her. So let's try and stun her. <clears throat> so it doesn't get the stun off, but we're going to do the ally attack. So he's down. Let's strip the buffs and hopefully freeze or uh, sleep. So no sleeps because there wasn't a lot of buffs out. Get rezzed. Block damage. So this is just going to be kind of like a grindy match right now. But she used her res. She didn't use her res yet. So if I kill her, it's going to be a while for her to res again. That's the mindset. Or I just might skip this part just to kind of show you the next match because this is going to take a while. Okay, so what we learned from the first match is if you don't see a, a big nuker on the other team, I forgot to mention this, you don't need a seeker as the lead. Uh, his uh, increased de uh, defense it definitely helps a lot for them to survive. Also, the buff that gets put on, on your guys so they don't really die as hard, that's mainly used for blender comps. So what I learned there was I don't need a seeker for the lead. I could have taken him out and put another damage dealer in that spot. But we're first here, so let's uh, boost up the team. Let's stun everybody. What's great is if you stun three out, of, uh, three out of four and this girl isn't stunned, you're still going to go because she's going to boost her meter, but they're sleeping, so it doesn't matter. Put some um, defense down, weaken up, and my nuke is going to be their damage dealer, which I can't nuke him because he's still above 50%, so let's try and nuke Seer, 
And then we're going to do the person that's not asleep, because she's going to go next. So this just does so much damage. 109,000. Oh my god. And now we're going to be able to go twice. So we're going to speed back up, speed back up, reset. And I'm going to try and use my four hitter on um, this guy, Rodos. But it might get split up, but we're going to do some damage to try and get him down below 50%. That's your goal, is to just get him down below 50%. Still not going to go. So we're going to try and do a two hitter. And get him below 50%. And then we can nuke him. So we're going to nuke him. And then finish off Chimer. Cool. Another 105k. I'll show you my gear uh, with these guys in a, another video. Um, it's pretty basic. Like a lot of you guys see, he has a Relentless set. Um, he's got a uh, crit damage set. And she has a stun set. So let's see if that stun set works with these guys. So again, we can't boost the speed because they have a Tormund. You saw in my last video how much I love Tormund. Uh, that was a joke. I hate Tormund because I don't have him. That's what it is. So I don't know if you guys noticed this, but she is not good in the Tormund. I for completely forgot about that. Her passive makes your whole team freeze. Oh my god, I totally, totally forgot about that. Alright guys, we're going to do one more. Uh, now, this is the comp that I was telling you guys about with the Blender team. So we're going to try and use the Seeker on here and show that Cardinal can survive uh, this team. And then I'm pretty confident with winning against these two. So let, let's let's do this matchup. So we're going to do the uh, go second team again on here. So we're going to take out her um, Seeker. So now the, the thing with this is if I stun one of these two girls, usually they have the Masteries that auto attack or counter attack that kind of just wipe out my res team so that's the niche there it's like i'll survive with cardinal but if i stun one of these two which is why she's there it's going to be tough to counter counteract that so i'm gonna keep uh seer is there to go second so i'm gonna get rid of that and we're gonna add him to just try and uh, get a second stun in on the team Okay, so this team, this matchup, uh, we're going to switch it because I know she's got a speed lead and she's faster. So we're going to put my speed team down here. Make sure you're careful with dragging these because I've, I've dragged them and they haven't gone. So I messed up that team. And then we're going to put our booster back in here. So I should be able to nuke uh, and stun this team. Alright, so here we go. Uh, they're going to boost up. She's going to do the team attack. And let's see if Cardinal survives. So with the um, Seekers, uh, additional defense, because uh, it was passive, and then she's just super tanky with the immunity set, that's how your Cardinal survives your Blender comp. So that's a great combo is these two, or the uh, Orc that um, does the block damage and uh, um, passive where she takes away 50% of the damage. So try those two out, it's definitely a good idea um, if you really want to survive this Blender comp. So let's res everybody back up. We're going to boost the turn meter. I'm sorry, we're going to stun. So if I stun her, I might get counterattacked by her. That's the, the niche with this. So, because I have to stun her. If I do damage to her, um, she's just going to counterattack with the team. Got the stun off. Let's see if it procs counterattack. It did not, so that's good. We're going to kill or do some damage to her. Great. And now boost it up. Let's do some damage to her. And then we are going to try and nuke and stun the rest of the team. Perfect. That's exactly what this team wants to do. So I stunned her just so she couldn't counterattack. She didn't counterattack, that's great. And then we're just going to finish off Skullcrown. So perfect. It's a good matchup with uh, Cardinal. Battle 2 should win. So I am faster because they don't have a speed lead. Let's sleep. 
So the high, re high resist, definitely good. So I'm going to try and just stun everybody. You can do the three hitter to try and kill the rezzer, but I'm just going to one shot him anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, let's finish this guy off. And then the uh, multiple hit. Let's reset. Since there's only one left, all four attacks are going to go onto him and kill. Cool. Good job. Last one, I should be faster. My Arbiter 320 ish. Cool. So we're going to speed up. Uh, Prince got more speed tuned, so he should go next to stun everybody. I am super afraid of this guy. He can just kill my entire team. But he's sleeping right now, and he doesn't block revive anymore. So we're going to try and kill her, or at least do some damage to her. He's still sleeping, so my strat right now would be to, since he's going to go, I'm going to try and kill these two. And try to do some damage with her later. So we're going to try and get two attacks, build up his uh, HP so he, he might be able to survive. And try and kill this guy because he has the defense down. Cool, so got him. Now she's going to be able to go and res them back up, but before that we're going to do some damage to her. So we're going to speed speed boost. Might be able to kill him in the meantime. Um, do some damage. And then he'll be able to finish. Okay, so let, let's see if we can get that guy down. Do some damage. Super high resist. Okay, so just fast forward to the end. We lost that matchup, but we did get 10 points, so we won two out of three of the matches, which again, your goal is if you're going to stay in between the uh, gold one just to get the rewards. So that was my strat. Um, you saw the blender comp, which was great. Uh, Cardinal <coughs> and Seeker are definitely great for that. So if you have two nukes after Cardinal and um, Seeker, that's a great way to counter the blender comp. You don't have to try and be faster. You just have to survive their, their nuke. Okay, cool. Alright guys, and here is going to be the uh, the MVP of the 3v3, that you're going to have two speed leads and one uh, defensive team. This is going to be your defensive um, champ. So let's show her all her stats real quick and then we'll end this video. 54,000, 1600 attacks, doesn't matter. 4400 defense is what you're going to be aiming for over 4k. Uh, the speed, if you want um, her to go before, you, like you don't get overlapped, you want her at a decent amount of speed, so that's why she's only 180. Crit and crit damage, if you want to have her do some damage, you can build that up. Mine is not made for that. You want more resist, so I'm going to be adding more resist with my Great Hall. So once I build up my Great Hall resist, she's going to be even more tankier uh, if I ever get to the Platinum in my uh, singles team. And the accuracy, you don't really need the accuracy because she's not there to land the buffs. You really just want her to be tanky, so that's why the 4,000 defense and getting the higher resist. But I added a little bit more uh, HP because I was dying to the blender teams, so the blender comp definitely helped with adding a little bit more HP. So that's Cardinal. Uh, again, we're going to wrap up this video, but definitely like the video if you guys enjoyed uh, the, the 3v3 content. Hit the subscribe button because a lot more videos are going to be coming to you.